Yes, you heard it right. I have a brand new real estate agent in my team, sold 16 properties in less than five months. That's incredible. But why do you care? If you're a new agent, you're looking for some answers, especially a lot of brand new agents come to me and ask, like, should I join a real estate team or go solo? Is that something good for me or not? Or, you know, how to make more sales? So that's why I invited Clark to share his experience so far and also his reasons why he joined the team and how he was able to make that many sales especially in the first five months like brand new that's not easy and how he structured his day you know and how he keeps his motivation going all those sort of things so stay tuned and watch till the end i promise you're gonna walk away with a solid confidence and a lot of nuggets to help you to make more sales Clark, welcome back for the show again. Thanks for having me. So today our topic is totally different. Pretty much how did you able to sell 16 properties in less than five months? Well, I didn't, uh, I didn't do it alone as, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as you sure know. Um, yeah, no, it, it really, I mean, it starts with hustle, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, you wake up, hit the phones, hit the emails, yeah. and you don't stop until you go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it is a lot of different from being a full-time realtor to you know, a part-time realtor. Yeah. Um, I find when you devote you know, like 90 to 100% of your day to being a realtor, um, mm -hmm. opportunities just present themselves. Yeah. Um, you know, you're at showings, you're touring houses, doing inspections, um, you know, even leads across the street. They'll come over, see what I'm doing, friends and family, other kind of deals. Like it's much yeah. more, it's such a compounding effect when you start your day, sure. you go out there and hustle, and then there's just more, more business, more, more business just comes from it. So that's great, but let I want to take a step back and you know, want to know first of all why you became a realtor. Mm -hmm. So and, and what were you used to be doing before, and what's your age? Yeah, yeah, okay. All these questions. Let's dive into it. Um, so yeah, I guess I first. Well, I guess a little bit of more backstory. Um, I actually started out in wholesaling. Okay. So I did a few wholesale deals. Um, wasn't a huge fan of it, but I loved finding deals. Okay. I loved, you know, being able to per, like find a property, purchase it, see the perfect burst, you know, perfect value add, mm -hmm. or even find out a situation and buy it at a discount like that. I just freaking love it. Um, so I did a few wholesaling, got into property management, um, did the whole, you know, the whole gambit there, managing a bunch of properties, dealing with tenants, and I like, you know, I like the property management aspect. I got it, but I just loved working with people one on one and making the deal, finding the deal, and ex executing on the deal. Yeah. Um. So then I actually worked at a commercial real estate company for a bit, mm -hmm. and I was thinking I was going to be a commercial realtor, but uh, there's just a lot more company to company transactions, and I love the personal pers personal basis. You know, got it. the people that we deal with. You know, we go for lunch, we go for dinner, find mm -hmm. their situation, find the perfect house for them. Um, whereas with a commercial realtor, I was making businesses more money, which is <laughs> which is fun. You know, it was fun being a corporate realtor, but uh, or working with corporate realtors. But um, I just loved you know the one on one aspect. So did a bunch of commercial underwriting, then came back, and now we're doing this here. Yeah, that's that's good, man. So now one thing that you did smart than many new agents actually. So you were not an agent before while you're doing all those things. No, no, I wasn't. So you're a brand new agent when you started five months ago. Yes. So instead of going by yourself all alone, you mm -hmm. joined a team. Yeah. Why? Like, why did you actually choose a team instead of going solo? Yeah, you know, and I, yeah, tons of agents debate this, right? Mm -hmm. um, when you're going to become an agent, you have the option of the brokerage, team, and alone. And basically you pick which one. So you pick the brokerage you want to join, and you're doing it by yourself or with the team, you know, kind of debate the pros and cons. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, pull the trigger and become a realtor. Um, so I definitely, you know, debated it a lot, but I just saw the stuff you were doing and it's just the new age, the new age of real estate. Mm -hmm. um, you go online, you know, you get noticed and uh, I just really loved what you were doing here. Um, so you. I debated to it. I'm like, listen, I'm a young guy. I can do that myself, but what do I like doing? Finding deals, working with people and making the money. Mm -hmm. And if I was to go on my own, there's so much, you know, branding and marketing, like these videos you, you do all day. Like there's, 
there's a lot of work you do behind the scenes, right? For sure. Not being just a realtor, you do tons and tons of work to get the name out there, get the Winston yep. brand out there. Um, and if I had to join a team, I could leverage that success you have and still yep. execute what I want to do as a realtor. You know, that's one thing not many new people understand because, you know, as I said, like the previously, the stats shows that only 10% of the realtors the total realtors make over 10 transactions so which you proved like you made 16 transactions in less than five months and has a brand new agent so mm. um that really proves because first thing you leverage the success of the other person and other brand mm -hmm. and second on top of it you, you chose the right uh team it's not like blindly going for a date, right? There was a lot of a lot of interviews that I had. <laughs> so c can you give me like at least a couple of tidbits that what did you look in? Uh, because you know, this is, let's say someone, a brand new somewhere in Toronto or somewhere looking for debating whether to join a team or now he knows, okay, he wants to join the team, he or she, mm -hmm. but don't know what to look for. So what did you look into and why you joined Win City? Yeah, so the first thing I looked to was, you know, first, I guess, from I guess from a brokerage or a team point of view? Team point of view. Team point of view? Okay. Or you want to start with the brokerage and come into team? Sure, we can start with the brokerage. Um, so, obviously, you know, the biggest, not, not the biggest thing, but one of the things is commission splits, right? How much money are you making at the end of the day from each transaction and what value is a brokerage providing to be able to get to that, um, mm -hmm. you know, the value that you're going to be justifying paying them the commission splits? Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of brokerages out there, but uh, there was a couple I interviewed that really, you know, really I narrowed down. Um, there's probably about two or three brokerages uh, that really, really stuck out to me. Keller Williams was another good one. Yeah. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I just realized that, you know, we're both tech savvy people. Yeah. Um, EXP just really spoke to me from how virtual and online everything was. And to me, I just figured, you know, that's the future of real estate. So that's yeah. really where EXP kind of lined with my books. Mm -hmm. Um, and then from a team point of view, again, I interviewed quite a few teams, but one mandatory thing for me was the team has to be really investor focused. Um, you know, I had analyzed commercial real estate deals, work for property managers, wholesaling. Like if I'm not doing investment properties, I'm, I'm not being a realtor. <laughs> so again, you know, that's his speciality because he knows from the beginning, uh, you are, you want to get into investments. You, you mm -hmm. want to be an expert as an investor yep. focused realtor. So. That's a great point um, because you know if you are looking for to become a, a, a best agent uh, for first time home buyers, then look for someone you know who is good with that. So that's a great point. Mm -hmm. Go on. Sorry. Yeah. No. No. Totally. Um, so yeah, that was that was the one big thing is that you know other teams they did investment stuff, but I mean just the Win City team is like, hey, we only do investment properties. Mm -hmm. Like you know we like we obviously do some some home deals here yeah, and there. Yeah, here and there always. You know we cannot say no for the investors <laughs> if they want to buy their home, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, uh, so you know we'll do deals here and there, but just out of a team point of view, you know I had I found that you know the Win City team just was set up for success in that investment circle. You got it. Um, so that was you know that, that was one of my major factors for uh, for definitely joining here. Yeah, and another factor that I would say like you know what would you get out of that team, right? Like so, mm -hmm. um, one the support is very important. Two, I would say like you know how much business they're driving. You know, no matter whether they're established or um, they're they're new, it's pretty much you got to look. Okay, what they can offer me as an individual agent. So what do I get? So that's what my tip would be if you're looking to join. So tell me this now, like freaking 16 deals in less than five months is not a small thing. Yes. So how do you structure your day? Um, that was a struggle I had. You, you've been you've been really pushing me to structure the day. Um, the first few months I was. Uh, you know, it, it was much more kind of wake up and you know get the first phone call and the day started. Um, there wasn't too too much structure, but over the past few months, I've really refined it. Um, where in the morning, it's phones and emails. I want to have you know the inbox be zero before mm -hmm. I leave my house because once you leave the house, you're on the go. You know, you're checking out showings, you're doing inspections, you're having lunch, you're having dinner with some people. It's as soon as you leave the house until seven or eight o'clock, you're you're on the road. And it's really hard to get to the emails or you know detailed emails, doing comps and all that kind of stuff when you're driving around in the car. So yeah. I want to make sure before I leave the house, inbox is zero. Um, and then once you leave the house, you know that's when I'm finding properties, I'm finding deals. Um, I try to see at least you know three, sometimes even seven properties a day. Yeah. Um, you know whether it's just for me to know the market, see what the properties out there, do video tours to send to my clients. Um, that's what really happens in the after of the day. You know, in between kind of the afternoon of the day, but when I leave my house. 
And in the evening, again, check the inbox, check the phones, um, follow up in any deals to see where they are, and then uh, you know, wake up and do it all again. Yeah, that's actually very important. Even like I was the same when I was new, like literally I was jumping around like, you know, make, because you will be excited to get calls and, you know, answer them. <laughs> and especially with you from the get going, you had like five people already you're, you're working with. Mm -hmm. So definitely that's very important because you got to structure your morning for like brainstorming and finding the properties, like making the list and or pretty much all the heavy lift work will be done yeah. in the morning and all the physical work, which is, you know, being presence at the properties and Fucking the light switches on and off yeah, yeah. Very, very <laughs> so was there any moments that you feel like oh shit what the heck am i doing this is crazy uh you know crazy challenges that you can remember in last five months um yeah some of the i guess the craziest um challenges is when you know, there's there's a deadline for a property. Um, you know, with wins are the bid dates. It's it's always a rush. You know, mad dash. You know, figure out the yeah. price, figure out how many people are offering. What are we gonna offer? It's the last hour that that stuff really happens. Um, and sometimes, you know, the bid dates at 3 p.m. and I have showings at you know 2 p.m. <laughs> so then, as soon as the showing's done, I'll say, you know, thank you, great for showing. I gotta run. I'll go to my card, flip on my phone, you know, data, you know, sell your data there, and then start writing, you know, contracts from my car on the side of a road. So that you know that 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 kind of stuff. It's like, oh man, this is you know getting stressful sometimes, but. It, you know, you get the contract sent, you write in the offers, and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, there's you still get the job done. So yeah. it's, uh, it's definitely that, stressful. But yeah. if you guys noticed that uh, one cool thing, what he is doing is that not many people understand. You gotta carry your laptop always with you. Oh, yeah, hundred percent, a hundred percent. Because you know, you never know where the deal you know you have to write offers. So you mm -hmm. gotta be prepared and. That's another cool thing with our brokerage, right? It's all yeah. virtual. So you, if you need any help, you hop onto your computer and just go ask. And that's pretty cool. Um, any really tough situation that you can remember, like, you know, that really like puts you in a spot where, oh man, this is so bad. But um, how did you handle it? Like, you know, any, any situation that you can recall? Um, thankfully, I feel like I haven't gotten any of those super tough situations yet. Um, there's been a couple where I don't know if I can disclose that amount of information on a video like this, I mean, but <laughs> not with the name or, you know, you don't have to say the property address name, but, um, you know, for example, I remember one call from you, yeah. um, one situation where you said, you know, you, you, you gotta, you are trying to help the client mm -hmm. to evict the tenant. Yes. But the closing was not even happened. You yes. want to communicate with the tenant yeah okay yeah so um you know because as a new agent you see so many things that and you would like to help as much as possible mm -hmm. but you don't know whether it's something in your hands or you have to do now or you have to do later mm -hmm. so th something like that right so in, in that situation actually like you know maybe i'll answer for you on your behalf sure, because sure, yeah, I, yeah. I have been in this uh, i've seen your couple of uh, uh high stressful situations yes so the biggest thing has a new agent you gotta ask any question that pops in your mind let's say you're doing something that you're not unsure you gotta ask either your broker or your team lead uh, you know whoever the team is just whoever the person that is responsible to handle that set of questions go communicate before you make a decision because in this business you cannot make assumptions mm -hmm that's one thing i really give a solid advice for new agents mm -hmm. um man so how does it look your future from here on like what's your plans for for future yeah so plans for the future um i mean i've only been five months as a realtor right there's a lot more <laughs> a lot more months of uh being a realtor left um in my in my future um yeah so definitely you know sticking with the wind city team um i, I definitely like it here i feel like the systems we got here um, so definitely sticking out as a realtor and then focusing on my tiny home projects as well. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, because I'm with a team, that, that's the other big factor with the team, right? If you are by yourself, there's so much, like I mentioned, so much time you have to put into branding and marketing. Um, whereas with a team, I have to leverage that and mm -hmm. focus on what I like doing is finding the deals and crushing the deals. Yeah, and so, by the way, if you don't know what tiny home he's talking about, I have a video, a full interview about his first tiny home that he's building. So check out that video. Sorry. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you, thank you for the plug no, that's there. A, that's a pretty cool project, like Windsor's first tiny home. Yes. Um, yeah, so, you know, I get to put time and, you know, energy into the tiny home business, as well as all the time into a realtor without having to do the time of the branding and the marketing. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I really love my time allocation I'm doing there. Um, you know, definitely more time as a realtor right now. Mm 
Um, but uh, yeah, I figure you know the future is probably building those two things out and having fun doing it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's awesome, man. So uh, just the one point that I pick from that story, right? You know, um, basically once you know what you want it's easier to go towards that so you mm -hmm. have that clear at least a, a clear goal where you're going towards so it makes your life a lot easier yes so now the kudos to you and and congratulations on the all the success and looking forward to see you succeed even more what can i have done without you man yeah guys um if you would like to know more on you know other neighborhood uh, tours that we have done together you can see the links in the description or links in uh, wherever on the screen so if you like this make sure you leave a comment below make sure if you uh, you know what do you like in this video just let us know in the comments and if you're a new agent um, just uh, make sure you click some more resources that we have on how I uh, made like over 250,000 in my first 10 months and all those other videos that can really help you. So with that, looking forward to see you on the next video.